Tren Crucero takes the tourist on an exceptional journey through the diversity of Ecuador. It's past, present, and future. At the end of the 19th and the beginning of the 20th century, the revolutionary and visionary president of Ecuador, Eloy Alfaro, decided to build the railroad to unite the country, joining the coast with the Andes. This decision marked the beginning of the modern era, the fundamental driving force for the development of the country and represented the symbol of national unity. The ride starts in the Andes and continues through the majestic mountains in a fascinating journey through the avenue of volcanoes. Finally, you get to the coastal region with its warm climate and tropical environment. The northern point of the track is Quito. The train departs from the heart of the city. The surroundings reveal its everyday life. A few minutes later, the train leaves the urban area. The ride continues up to Boliche, which is part of the Cotopaxi National Park. The tourists can see two snow-capped volcanoes, Cotopaxi and the Ilinisas. The journey continues south on board this cultural heritage train with a modern touch. Four coaches provide comfort for the passengers. The train features its independent electrical power source, basic services, and a professional crew ready to carefully respond to any requests. The train passes La Tacunga and is approaching Salcedo. The sides of the stone wall that surrounds Lake Yambo blend the railway with the amazing landscape. The crossing of the Socavon Bridge indicates that the train is passing through the city of Ambato. The next destination is the highest point of the journey. The train goes uphill to finally reach Urbina Station, located at the foot of Chimborazo Volcano at 11,841 feet above sea level. The uphill ride takes more than an hour, but the landscape gives the sensation that it lasts forever. Every train stop reveals its own charm and regional customs. The local communities are in charge of the train cafe, train souvenir shop, arts and crafts square, and train museum. This is how the communities are benefited by the jobs created and the income generated. Me he fenado abuelito Juan Uchicatuche. Él me ha enseñado a hacer ese trabajo como mis papi ha cogido esa herencia. Todo, como no es hielo, hielo de artificio, es diferente hielo. Hielo natural, no hay este chimbrazo como que habla mi papi. Está este chimbrazo y nacido y sigue naciendo todavía. Rosa is a member of the ice merchants family. They walk more than seven hours to harvest ice blocks from Chimborazo volcano. Her uncle Gregorio prepares ice cream with the raw material brought by Rosa. Algunos turistas de repente llegan, dice, está bueno, dice, heladito con hielo de chimborazo. The train ride continues through the highlands. Leaving the station of Rio Bamba, the train takes the passengers first to Colta and then to Huamote. The architecture of the restored Huamote station draws the attention of the new visitors. Around the station is the indigenous market, the meeting and trading point for the local population. The railroad construction that unites Quito with Duran, currently fully rehabilitated, had many difficulties. The most evident is Pistichi Mountain. Hundreds of people died in the construction of this part of the railroad, known worldwide today as La Nariz del Diablo, the devil's nose. The train descends the canyon in a zigzag, a truly unique experience. From this point on, begins the downhill ride to the coast, 
until reaching its final destination at 14 feet above sea level. In this part of the trip, the tourists will experience more of cultural heritage, history, and identity of the train. During this last part of the journey, the Ecuadorian Railway unveils its greatest treasure. The steam locomotive will lead this final part of the train adventure to the last station of Duran. You can choose the tour, Quito Duran or Duran Quito, four days and three nights. As options, you can select different routes or full days. In all of these journeys, we guarantee comfort, coziness, and excellent service, as well as natural, cultural, and historical diversity on board an exclusive heritage train.